And by the way, listen to the inspirational commentary of the eloquent and insightful Charles Spurgeon on the very same subject. Regeneration is a subject which lies at the very basis of salvation. and We should be very diligent to take heed that we really are born again. For there are many who fancy they are, who are not. Be assured that the name of a Christian is not the nature of a Christian, and that being born in a Christian land and being recognized as professing the Christian religion is of no avail whatever unless there be something more added to it. The being born again is a matter so mysterious that human words cannot describe it. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. Nevertheless, it is a change which is known and felt, known by works of holiness and felt by a gracious experience. This great work is supernatural. It is not an operation which a man performs for himself. A new principle is infused, which works in the heart, renews the soul, and affects the entire man. It is not a change of my name, but a renewal of my nature, so that I am not the man I used to be, but a new man in Christ Jesus. To wash and dress a corpse is a far different thing from making it alive. Man can do the one, God alone can do the other. If you have been born again, your acknowledgement will be, O Lord Jesus, the everlasting Father, Thou art my spiritual parent. Unless Thy Spirit had breathed into me the breath of a new, holy, and spiritual life, I had been to this day dead in trespasses and sins. My heavenly life is wholly derived from Thee. To Thee I ascribe it. My life is hid with Christ in God. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who liveth in me. May the Lord enable us to be well assured on this vital point. For to be unregenerate is to be unsaved, unpardoned, without God, and without hope. I mean, who even writes or talks like that today? That is rich, rich content. And by the way, when I say that, I certainly don't mean any disrespect towards pastors and preachers today. But it's just an undeniable fact that in every generation, the church is fortunate to have maybe five or ten men who are gifted in that kind of way. And surely our generation is no different. But the good news about that is, if the 2,000 plus years that the church has been in existence is taken into account collectively, well then there have been hundreds of such men. Men who have recorded and made available for our use some of the clearest, most profound insights into the Word of God that God has ever been pleased to give to man.